given a matrix of m times n elements. Design an algorithm to return all of the elements in spiral order. That's about today's video. Let's dive in. San Francisco Bay Area, or Silicon Valley. This is where my dream started. Hi everyone, this is Steve here. Today we are going through a lead, another lead code problem, uh, lead code problem 54, spiral matrix. Uh, let's take a look at this question first. Given a matrix of m times n elements, m represents the number of rows, n represents the number of columns. So it's asking us to return all of the elements of the matrix in spiral order. What does spiral order mean? Let's take a look at the examples. Um, one row, one, two, three, second row, four, five, six, and third row, seven, eight, nine. Um, this is, what is the spiral order? It's, so it's basically going clockwise. It's going like this, clockwise. From the top to the uh, right, and then go to the bottom, and from the bottom right to the bottom left, and then from bottom left to top left. This is the spiral, and it just keeps going, keeps going until it goes through, traverses through this entire matrix. So see here, one, two, three, this is the result, one, two, three, and then six, nine. Six, nine here, goes toward the bottom. And then from right to the left, nine, eight, seven, nine, eight, seven here, and then toward the um, top, four. But one, we have visited that already, so we'll just go to the right again, so five here. This is the last element. This is the three by three, which is a square. Uh, let's look at a more um, general case, which is a rectangular. So here, this is three by four matrix. So how do we visit a three by four matrix? So it's still um, towards the right. So it starts from the top left towards the right, then goes towards the bottom, then from the bottom towards the left, from the left towards the top, and then just keep going. Always less, less, less. And then, so here, uh, one, three, one, two, three, four, and then here, eight, twelve, then eleven, ten, nine, then five, six, seven. That's the order that um, the the question is wanting us to return. Um, there is no uh, any special tricks for this um, problem. It's basically to basically to simu simulate how how we should traverse this um, this matrix. The, I guess the tricky part is how do we uh, really put this into programming context? Like how do we, um, I guess the most tricky part is how do we handle all of the edge cases um, for the indices i, j, um, how do we handle that? Um, one common, um, I guess the uh, the technical trick, um, if, it, if you call it, uh, call it a trick, is to have um, I and J, we, 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 we will basically have four inner loops. Um, one loop goes through the left to the right, one loop goes from the uh, top to the bottom, the third loop goes from the right to, towards the left, the last four loop goes from the bottom towards the top. And then outside of this, um, f and these four loops, we'll have a while loop. We'll just keep adding, we'll initialize a final result object and then we'll just keep adding all of the elements that we have traversed through into the final result. But we'll keep adding until the final result, um, as long as the final result is smaller than or less than m times n. That's it. Um, that's the result. That's the simulation that we can do. Uh, how do we put that into programming context? We'll just uh, use i and j. We'll use, we'll use um, four variables. Um, and top, bottom, as the row index, as we keep shrinking from the top and the bottom, we keep we keep shrinking, and then two more um, variables, left and right, to indicate the left boundary and the right boundary. Left is going to keep increasing, and the right is is um, going to keep decrementing, and these uh, these two left and right boundaries is going to shrink towards the middle as well. So we use these four variables to keep shrinking and to help us uh, traverse, to help us control these four in the loops so that we can visit all of the nodes and return them in the spiral order. That's it. Uh, with that said, uh, we can start writing some code. All right, here. So first to check a few corner cases. If matrix 
matrix is now or matrix length uh, it ha doesn't have any rows is zero or matrix it does have one row but uh, it's it doesn't have any columns length is zero we're just going to return an empty array list that's enough this is corner case but apart from that we we'll just do our regular um, standard operations which is well, since we're using um, the number of rows and number of columns many times, we'll just use two variables to indicate them, which is the way that I do it. Uh, matrix length int n matrix. This is the, uh, the number of columns. And then, as I said, we, we're going to use four variables to keep shrinking towards the middle and towards the middle. Um, we we'll use top to indicate the row that we're going to start with, which is zero, and then bottom, which is the, la the last row that we, we, we can traverse up to, which is going to be last row, m minus n. Yeah, m is the number of rows, okay. And then use two variables to keep track of the column. So left, we start with zero, and right, we start with n minus one. Right. Say we have four columns. It's going to be zero, one, two, three. So left starts with zero, right starts with three. So total four columns. That's the example. And then we'll initialize a final result here. Result new array list. And then so as long as the final result, the size of the final result is smaller than m times n. We'll just keep going through. That means we there is always one element remaining that we haven't visited yet. So we'll just keep traversing. So inside this while loop, as I said, we'll have four, uh, we'll have four for loops to go through row, column, row, column. That's it, right? So we'll traverse from the left towards the right, right now. So for, uh, so for the columns, we'll use J, just as a convention to start, uh, to make less confusion. Um, J will start from uh, left. Left is the variable that we initialized. Remember, we're using left here instead of a zero because this left starting index on the left side will keep shrinking towards the middle, right? So we used, we start from left and then, so J is smaller than how much smaller than right smaller than or equal to right we can go up to right because right right index is the actual right index which is something that we can reach it's not out of boundary and then also uh, result size has to be smaller than m times n and then we'll just keep incrementing j then we add this this matrix so which one is that so it's going to be top, that's the row index, the column index is J. This is, this is, uh, uh, so this for loop, the for loop that we just wrote, this one, it helps us to go through from left towards right. All right. Um, then after that, after that, so after that we are here. We are here, uh, we are at this point, we have to verse through one, two, and three. After that, what we can do is that what we need to do is that we need to uh, right now row is here. Row is at zero. So we need to increment row. Uh, this row is indicated by top. So we need to increment top by one because we have finished traversing this row. Starting from the next one, we need to, uh, we need to start at row plus one, right? So row is top, top plus one. Now we go from the the top right corner towards the top bottom, uh, no, towards the bottom right. Then second for loop, we'll use i because we are going through row by row, row by row, row by row. Okay, row uh, i is going to start from top. As long as i is smaller than or equal to bottom and result size, is smaller than m times n and then we'll do i plus plus 
So why do we do this? This is uh, we're just going through this. Uh, so three, six, nine. So we're incre we're incrementing the number of rows here, right? So that's why we increment i, and i starts from top. Remember again, it's not starting from zero because top will keep incrementing and bottom will keep uh, keep de decrementing. So these two will shrink towards the middle. And then here is matrix uh, i. This is the row and the column is going to be right. So column is right because we're traversing on the right side, right? Right side, so this is right. And then after going through that, so where we are then, we are here, we're at this bottom right. So from here, bottom right, what we need to do is that we need to decrement this column index. So this column index is going to start from here. So that column is right. Right, we need to decrement this. And then from there, we'll go from here, 9, to towards the left side. Let's do it. Towards the left side. And then that is going column by column, so we use J. Uh, we on the right side, and then J is greater than or equal to left, right? Um, and result size is smaller than M plus N. We'll do J minus minus. We'll, we'll keep decrementing J, because J moving from the bigger index towards the smaller index. Then we'll keep adding that result into matrix uh, the row index right now is actually bottom right it's it's bottom and then column index is j that's right mm, j yes j starts from right okay and so uh, where are we now we are here we are at uh, this at this point at this point so at this point will start from the bottom left towards the top left, towards the top left. So that means we need to increment, we need to increment the row position by one. Row that is bottom, we need to decrement row because row starts from the very, uh, the very bottom, which is like say a big number, and then we need to move up, which means we need to decrement it, bottom. And then from bottom, we need to go by row by row. So we use i, we start from bottom, and then i is smaller than or equal to top. And result size is smaller than m times n. Um, and we do i plus plus. I, it, no, it's actually i minus minus. Because i starts from the bottom, which is a big number, we keep decrementing it. And then result add matrix. Uh, in this case, a row index is i, uh, column index is left, because we're traversing on the left side. That's it. Uh, that's the algorithm. And then start, so now we are here. Uh, we are at this position, right? Starting from there, we'll keep moving towards the right. So we'll go to five. How do we go to five? Well, incrementing left side by one before we can go to the other loop, um, the, the, the next for loop. Uh, we increment left. So this is very symmetrical, right? <laughs> you can see uh, top, uh, as we just said, top is starting from the top row, the first row with the smallest index, so it's always uh, it's always incrementing, right, from zero to one to three, and the right, it's right is the right boundary, so it's standing from the biggest uh, um, number of columns, so say five, then goes towards the middle, so five, four, three, one, right. Um, bottom is the biggest number, right, in in terms of number of rows, so it's it could be three, if there are three, uh, if there are four rows, so three, two, one, and left is the left boundary, so we start from zero. It, goes towards the right, so 0, 1, 2. That's the uh, entire for loop, um, uh, the entire y loop, actually. So then we'll just return a result. All right, that's the entire algorithm. Uh, let me just quickly double check, and uh, make sure. So left, we always move towards the right as long as smaller than right. 
and top, we're always going down as long as it's smaller than bottom. And J is moving towards the left as long as it's bigger than left. Okay. Bottom is always going up, which means decrementing. Okay, so this one should be greater than or equal to top. Then we just keep going up. Uh, yeah, I think that's correct. Uh, let's hit submit and see. All right, accept it 100%. Uh, quite amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the entire algorithm of this problem. Um, basically, we used um, four variables. Since they are called variables, they can keep changing. And that's the beauty of just a put your thought, put this actual simulation. This is a straightforward solution, a straightforward problem. But just uh, how do you map on all of your thoughts into actual code, into actual programming? That's the something. It, it just takes time and practice. Uh, so in this problem, we used uh, four variables to keep shrinking from left towards the middle, from right towards the middle, and from bottom towards from the bottom towards the middle, from the top towards the middle. That's it. Use for loop to keep going through, and then use a an outside user. Uh, while loop to keep track as long as the the uh, size of the final result is smaller than m times n we'll just keep going that's the uh, algorithm and um, i hope you guys uh, like it and if you have any questions comments please leave me down below and all of the solutions um, are down here in the link link in the description on my github feel free to check it out you can play around with it and also don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and also Please, please uh, gently tap the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm, and I'm going to appreciate it a lot. Thanks very much. I'll see you guys in the next video.